Good evening. I'm Juliette Goodrich in for Sarah tonight. Residents living in cars and motorhomes along a rural Nevada road hope this won't be the last night they have a place to call home. They received conflicting notices, one saying they may have to leave by tomorrow morning. Now, Andrea Nakano joins us, and she's talked to a lot of residents who are simply worried that they're going to have no place to go. Is that the truth? Yeah, Juliet, Binford Road has always had a few motorhomes along the side of the road, but that community has grown significantly over the last couple of years. Residents say for the most part they've been left alone and even received help from the county, but they're worried this might be ending tomorrow. These are the motorhomes that line Binford Road in Novato. Some of the residents have been here for years. Others, like Terry Kramer, just found this place months ago. I've been out here about six, seven months. Um, it's very peaceful. Um, a lot of thieves going on. You got to look out for your stuff. But other than that, I mean, everybody gets along. Kramer used to park his motor home in Petaluma to be closer to his mother, but he says his vehicle was constantly tagged and ultimately told to leave. And there's no spots that are like this that we can just sit for free because none of us have nothing. You know, we're, we're, some of us are disabled, we can't work, you know, old and broken. His neighbor, OP, didn't want to be on camera, but showed us the notice that was posted next to his van recently. Two days ago, maybe, yeah. A notice from the Department of Fish and Wildlife says to vacate in 72 hours, citing this area is only open from sunrise to sunset, and there is no camping by an ecological reserve. On the other hand, this notice from the Moraine County Sheriff's Department says fencing work will be done, but the residents are not required to move. Residents say the county has been working with them, providing portable restrooms and trash collecting services once a week. You know, we're just trying to get along, so, I mean, they're really going out of their way to help us. Here. Kramer's ultimate wish is to be able to move into a home in the near future. Until then, he hopes he won't be forced to leave Benford Road. Then we'd have nowhere else to go. What would we do? We'd lose everything, and then where would we be? You know, we'd be in tents somewhere, you know. Because that's a step down. We're trying to go a step the other way. We reached out to the Department of Fish and Wildlife. They have not gotten back to us at this hour. Juliet? Andrea, it's heartbreaking. And we also know we're going into the cold night tonight and, and leading into the, into the weekend. So has there been an effort to move them into permanent housing to find some sort of solution? Yeah, residents say county workers have been going to that area to try to find them more stable housing. But Terry was telling me that he really needs that kind of help because those residents out there don't have the money to pay first month and last month rent and security deposit mm. that they really need some help to transition. Yeah, absolutely. Not only that, but but warm clothes to weather the night as well. All right, Andrea, thank you.